What's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Skate Park Lessons with me, JB, here at the Sunnyvale Skate Park. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to skate a bowl. Let's get it. In order to skate a bowl, it's mandatory that you can do these things. Skate comfortably on flat ground. Have loose trucks that can turn easy. I highly recommend ace trucks, otherwise independence will work as well. That you can pump a mini ramp. That you can pump through corners. It really helps to have wheels that are 54 millimeters or larger. A wider skateboard helps, eight inches or over depending on your shoe size. And last but not least, to visualize your line before you drop in. Here's the important things I want you guys to look for before you start skating the bowl. Recognize the difference in difficulty between bowls and the section of bowls. Beginner is typically the smallest and four feet and under. Intermediate is typically four to six feet high. And advanced is typically six feet and over. Good transition skateboarders can hit maximum speed in a bowl that's five feet and over if the bowl is made well. Please check for trash in the bowl or the pool to make sure that you don't hit it and flat spot your wheels and cause you to slam. Try to find lines that allow you to practice carving front side and back side in the same line. Walk up to the bowl and visualize the line you want to take. I recommend starting from a drop-in or a roll-in that allows for a little more speed. It's better to start with a little more speed and pump less through your turns than to start slower and have to pump extra hard to gain that speed. The bigger the bowl, the more speed you're going to need. To visualize your line, I want you to imagine you have a ball in your hand. Wherever you start from in the bowl, you drop the ball down the ramp and imagine that the ball has no friction and it continues to roll on the same path from where you start. From a drop-in position, your board is the arrow that's gonna show where the ball would go if it didn't slow down. How will the ramps turn and affect the path the ball will take? Will the ball stay in the bowl? If not, then adjust where you enter and exit your corners in the bowl. This will change your line to keep the ball on the right path to stay in the bowl. Make sure that your line that you choose matches your ability level. And make sure that that line will allow you to pump more often than not. As you get better, let the path of your line include hips, waterfalls, twinkies, rollers, and corners to maintain that speed. I want you guys to try your hardest to stay on a straight path on the flat bottom as turning creates friction on those wheels which is gonna slow you down. Allow those ramps to do the work. You maintain your focus and pumping rhythm to maintain speed. For wider corners and S-turns, make sure to make a big wide carved rainbow in and out of your entrance and exits of your turns. And really use your knees to get a nice deep bend pump out of the highest part of your rainbow while you're carving through a corner. Your goal while skating a bowl is to keep a nice smooth and steady rhythm that matches the music of the ramps. Skating a bowl is a lot like dancing. If you don't match the rhythm of the ramps, it's gonna look wrong and feel uncomfortable. The fun part is every bowl makes a different song, so enjoy it. Start with one line in the bowl that includes turns that you know you can do. And get that rhythm correctly so you can learn to maintain speed and fluidity through the bowl. Add more turns or choose a new starting point that blends into your old line. When that becomes comfortable, start to skate your line from the end first. That way it'll reverse your carve stance and your backside turns will become frontside turns and your frontside turns will become backside turns even through the same line. Try to keep your head stable while you're skating the bowl and keep your knees and ankles loose so they can conform to the ramps. That way, your body stays in the same spot, but your legs 
come up and under you the same as shocks are on a car. Please do not do these things while you're learning to skate the bowl. Do not kick turn through corners or on flat quarter pipe walls. Don't learn to skate the bowl with really tight trucks. Do not stand up while you're carving through corners. Do not have an off balance or uneven stance on your skateboard while you're skating. Do not go straight into the corners. Always use the side walls first. Pro tip for this lesson is to wear those knee pads and get confident with those knee pads. That way you can stay forward and get on your knees to slide when you need to, to stay safe. Hey, thanks for watching this edition of Skate Park Lessons. I hope these techniques I taught today really help you skate that bowl better and build more confidence and understanding in what you're doing. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. Thanks again, and good luck.